Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher, the 1100 ladder, and just continuing to enjoy our life. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a fantastic day. I figured with Cyberstorm Access being right around the corner, I thought it would be a good time to go back through and do a good old tier list. I was actually able to, uh, well, just reuse this one that I guess I've used before. It was already filled out, so... Uh, anyway, as I always say in these, I don't know how the fuck to make a tier list. Uh, I just pull these from Tier List Maker and hope to God that whoever made it actually knew what the fuck they were talking about. As always, we have our Tier 1, Tier 2 Rogue and our patented Booty Booty Butt Sheet category. If you see this on any of the tier lists, you need to let them know that Avril R32 was the one who started this shit. So I better not see y'all taking my Booty Booty Butt Sheet category. This is my butt cheeks and they are my booty and they make me hard. It is my category. You stay away from that. Cali Effect, you stay away from this. Neshi, I love your luscious beard. This is my category. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was that about. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and dive on in to this tier list. You know, at first, when I was looking at Cyberstorm Access, I was thinking, oh, okay, there's a few good things in it. But no, like, this set is fucking stacked to the brim with good stuff. Um, so let's just dive on into things that we fucking know are going to be good purely, ladies and gentlemen. So I love the fact that this is the deck that I want to play for this upcoming meta, preferably once we get a new ban list, because I'm just kind of over this format. It's not a bad format. I'm just tired of playing in it. Uh, I love the fact that now I'm able to go from Cash Tiro, where I got fucking Nibiru like every five minutes. And now I get to get Exceed Encored every six fucking minutes because they just had to make it a spell speed four and make the dude look like a little fucking Harry Potter wannabe looking bitch <laughs> that can just destroy your ex purely noir out of existence, just Thanos snap it back to the extra deck. All jokes aside, this card is good. I was testing with it hours upon hours today, and at one point I was playing against Sword Soul, and I had straight purely street, the field spell, and purely my friend, the continuous spell up, he nibs me. I still play through the Nibiru, still establish the X purely noir. And when it goes to his standby, I draw two from the two sleepy memories that were attached to the material. I'm sitting with eight fucking cards in my hand and like two hand traps. And I'm just like, you ain't winning, Sugar Boo Bear. And I proceeded to win that game. It was absolutely fantastic. Oh my god, I finally understand why this deck's good. It takes a very good pilot, though. It is very skill-intensive. You know, some people say that combo decks are brain-dead and whatever, that cash tier is brain-dead. I've already made a video discussing that. You know, shameless plug. You should go check it out on the channel about combo decks being brain-dead. This is a very skill-intensive deck. Uh, it's very control-heavy. You know, it is kind of noir or bust, like if you're playing a pure build, but there's also a lot of different ways to play it. So I'm interested to see what TCG players will do with it compared to the OCG. Uh, because if your noir gets exceeded on court in like a pure build, you're pretty much fucked. Uh, let's move on here. We've got Sprite at tier one. Sprite's still a consistent monster of a deck. Like there's no if ands, or buts about it. The thing is with Cyberstorm access dropping, essentially the only thing that changes, at least in the current format until we get a ban list, is that Super Heavy Samurai comes into the fray, purely comes into the fray, and then we might see Mana Diem, aka Mana Dome, and or Gold Pride do a little bit of something in the background. Uh, and maybe Labyrinth and Trap Trick might do a little bit of something uh, with like the new Trap Track support trap card. Try saying that 10 times fast. That we're getting in the set so keep that in mind a lot of this is going to kind of look similar to like the last time that we did a tier list which isn't necessarily a bad thing the more decks that you had to play with the better i think things will look a lot better once we get a ban list uh next up here is super heavy samurai this deck auto loses to fucking dark ruler no more unless there's some sort of spicy tech that i don't know about <laughs> so for those of you who didn't play back in the day with gallus the star beast and genix ally birdman at three there was a deck known back in the day as Monster Mash, where it was literally 40 cards, and it was just all monsters, uh, and you just made synchro plays. You could FTK slash OTK with Gallus, the Star Beast, and Birdman with Cooking Miru Doom, uh, and it was a really great deck. Super Heavy Samurai is in the same boat where you're playing 40 monsters and you're making synchros and all that. I've seen a lot of replays. I've tested a decent amount of hands with it. You do have to get past summon number five before you're able to establish that Apollosa or that Baron or whatever kind of monster to get you're going for. At the same time, if the opponent does try to Nibiru you on, on summon number five, you're not necessarily going to have a whole lot of stuff committed to the board where like it just kills you and blows you out of the game. I'm not saying that the deck can just play through Nibiru every time, but it also can slash can't lose to Nibiru automatically. 
I'm interested to see what it is that like pendulum decks here in the TCG do with this stuff because not all of the super heavy samurai support locks you into super heavy samurais like it's pretty generic so i'm interested to see if like maybe we'll see some synchron decks do well pre duelist nexus uh, or even pendulum decks do well since wakakushi or however the hell you pronounce it is a pendulum and they're also getting that other pendulum monster in cyberstorm access as well i still think it's going to be a tier one deck i think it's going to be very good um but as of now at least from what i've seen it all loses to dark ruler no more uh, next up here is Kashtira. It's still fucking disgusting. It's going to de completely destroy purely if it just sits on a rise heart and just says, hey, bro, are you going to finish that pizza? Um, yeah, I mean, it's still good. I think Diabolsis honestly needs to be fucking banned, and this is coming from someone who loves Kashtira. I've already talked ad nauseum how I love the deck, and it's one of my favorite decks of all time. Um, but the deck does need to be hit. It probably needs to be taken out back behind the barn and shot in the nuts, if I'm being honest. Uh, next up here is Branded Despia, and look at this. We're in such a diverse format. And, uh, yeah, no tier element to be seen. I'm putting that shit in tier two. Branded Despia is still going to be a good deck. Like, these two decks come into the fray, and, like, look, you still have all this in tier one. You have a lot of different decks that you can play. Like, there's not much else to really say about Branded Despia other than it's going to keep on getting better the more support it gets I, with, I think, it's getting some, like, direct support in cyberstorm access and i know it's definitely getting some new stuff in duelist nexus i just realized that mana diem is not on this tier list and neither is gold pride i would put both mana diem and gold pride uh into the rogue category not because mana diem is a bad deck but they get a lot more support from duelist nexus gold pride did get some new support in cyberstorm access but i think it's still going to be a bit more of a rogue pick because i think everybody is going to be just jumping into these decks here until we get a new ban list and then we can kind of see things get shaken up a bit so that is where i would put those two decks i apologize that they're not on this tier list uh, let's kind of jump around here a little bit math mech is still very much a tier two deck it's still very solid being able to go access code swing for game and let your nuts hang is still amazing uh super factorial and uh whatever the counter trap is that like an infernity barrier needs to be taken out back behind the barn and shot i hate those fucking cards um access code being able to otk is just so disgusting i know that there's like some new firewall stuff in cyberstorm access that kind of shakes up the deck a bit i'm throwing that all into math mech because like math mech's just a fucking confusing combo deck just otk with access code and you're good to go sugar boo bear uh let's jump around here a little bit these decks here i also want to get this out of the way real quick these don't matter um this is like ocg related shit like time tearing morganite got put in here twice so whatever Speaking of Time Tearing Morganite, aka Time Rendering Morganite. So, Morganite is that draw two card every draw phase, lets you summon twice and whatever. Seems pretty good in Flunder and seems amazing in Stun. I'm going to put it in the Rogue tier. Um, the thing is, is that upon the initial activation, you're not getting that draw two. You know, you get the two normal summons. If you're able to establish that Falsa Dine and Inspector Border, yeah, you're looking pretty good, especially if you can set a couple cards in your back row. Problem is, is that you've got to wait that one turn to start drawing two cards and get your engine going. And I don't know if that's really going to be what gets you stun players there to be able to keep up with all this stuff at the top. I'm not saying that you can't because Morganite is fucking disgusting and people have been telling me that, that, card, that this card's garbage and I stand by the fact that I think it's broken AF. You cannot tell me a card that lets you draw two in your draw phase and summon twice is not good. You can't activate monster effects in the hand. Who gives a fuck? You're playing stun. You're not going to be playing hand traps. You're playing hand traps. You're doing it wrong. I'm just telling you right now. So I think that this is going to be very much a rogue pick. And I think honestly, could see some play in Flunder. Speaking of Flunder though, I feel, I strongly believe that Flunder has fallen to the booty, booty, butt cheek category. I never thought that these birds would be eating the booty, but guess what? They are eating that booty. It, it's just not really that good anymore like i'm not saying you can't do well with it but like when you look at the format that we're going into barring a ban list uh, like what the fuck do you do against these decks like okay you don't care about banishing with cash tira like if they're just sitting on an arise heart like d does flunder even play kaijus like what kaijus can you even play sprite they build up their board of negates and like you're staring at your birds like what am i going to do Branded Despia is just going to vomit onto the field. Super Heavy Samurai is going to establish a shit ton of stuff. Um, like, yeah, if you can go first and set up an M-Pen with, like, Scary C and, and all that stuff. Like, yeah, that's that's the Dreaming Town, no pun intended. Like, that's, that's the Dream Team. But, like, if you can't, like, you can't do shit 
to a noir with five or more materials unless you've got like a kaiju or santa claus you can't use uh unexplored win on the noir to tribute it like you just can't so like unless i've got my rulings wrong i'm pretty sure you can't use unexplored uh win to tribute the noir it says unaffected by activated effects so maybe i'm wrong about that but regardless uh, like it's not even really topping anything right now like people abandon this deck i just don't see it doing anything sword soul they're getting that new worm dragon but I, I gotta put it in tier two it's i feel like it's it's kind of like gladiator beast how they were back in the day where when a format got destroyed by a balance everybody would go back to gladiator beast because it was the most consistent thing that everybody knew i feel like sword souls in that category like it's a very fair deck it's not necessarily bad but it's it's definitely a fair deck um spiral is booty booty butt cheeks i don't know why you'd be playing that uh pure shadals is booty booty butt cheeks even invoke dogmatica shadal is fucking garbage like you're better off just playing trap trick and buying three structure decks also i don't know why this tier list don't have no damn uh trap tricks trap tricks would belong in rogue honestly i'm interested to see if they'll use time tearing morganite because i feel like drawing two cards especially if they're trap cards or even trap trick monsters seems really fucking good and two summons a turn that seems really good um uh, what what is this adding nister adding nister has fallen off like you might as well just play fucking math mech at this point exo sister i feel is also booty booty butt cheeks like this deck isn't doing anything anymore and it's at full power like it, it's just terrible um let's see here sky striker is rogue sure like they need engage back at three they need all their stuff back at three plus the new support that they're getting to actually like i feel like make a dent in this format labyrinth is definitely tier two the new trap track trap card probably saying that 10 times fast seems very interesting and i'm very curious to see how it is that labyrinth players will utilize this uh dark world is rogue af if you open up bricky you're losing the ball game or if you go against cash tier and they open up d shifter you're losing the ball game scare claw adventure cash tira shit the deck i'm just putting in rogue it's basically another variant of uh cash tira i need to move along here because i'm taking up way too much time valiance even the ftk is fucking garbage uh <laughs> ninjas fucking booty booty butt cheeks just play trap trick um dragon link so they are getting we are getting the new chaos angel stuff in cyberstorm access and i've yet to talk about that i do feel still that it's going to be tier two will it make waves absolutely but does it belong in tier one until we get a ban list i don't really feel like it's going to hit that tier one slot i think that these decks are going to power creep out stuff like dragon link it's still very good the buy steel dispotter or dispater whatever the hell uh synchro is very good I think that it's going to definitely be in the high tier two, though, at this point in time. Eldritch is very rogue. Like, he kind of just auto-lose to cash tier, unfortunately. Runic, uh, if you're going with, like, Naturia Runic and stuff, I would say that it's definitely tier one. Uh, if you're going with pure Runic, it's it's definitely rogue, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Pendulum, I feel like Pendulum will just always sort of be a rogue deck. I don't know what the fuck this is. I think that this is just, like, buy steel good shit uh oh i think that this is like the synchron stuff yeah it's it's rogue synchron stuff is literally irrelevant until we get duelist nexus uh let's see tri brigade with sprite it's pretty decent but honestly like i gotta put in the booty booty butt cheek category i just don't feel like it's really making waves anymore uh pure punk is booty booty butt cheeks unless you mix it in with another engine uh and then i don't know why the fuck you're playing orcus uh attic mister no nah, it's it's pretty booty booty butt cheeks um Pure Lyra Lusic is not very good. No, we're we're not even gonna mess with all that. And then this is all just OCG stuff. This can all just go in like the booty booty butt cheek category because nobody really gives a shit about these cards. So guys, that is your tier list. Let me know down in the comments what you think. A little bit uh on the booty booty butt cheek side for a lot of these decks, I gotta admit. Um, but the echelon is the echelon for a reason. I think that uh, this is what we're gonna see moving forward until we get a new ban list. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you down. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.